Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about key influencer with AI visuals. Please like, comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, let's go. Now I am in Power BI desktop. At first I have imported this US Superstore data for this analysis. You can observe we have this key influencer visual under this visualization section. As usual, you just click on this visual and it will open this analyze section, explain by section and expand by. Let us first understand analyze section for categorical data and explain by some continuous data. We all know what is categorical data. So I have selected this category information here. And I have uh, in the explain by section, I have added sales, profit and this month value information. Now when I have added this, I have observed this graphical representation is coming and by default, the sales is more than 119.8. So it will show what is the key factor is influencing this furniture category sales. So it will show this information also where profit is in a negative way and for the month of December it is having month of December is the most influencer result giving for this furniture category. Okay. So in this way you can uh, describe or you can represent this uh, key influencer visual to your customer. For another is if I select office suppliers or uh, those information is available so in for office suppliers you can observe that month value is not coming that means for office suppliers month value is not so important and uh, profit and sales are more important information now just one point i need to mention here i have selected uh, this uh, for data for this 2014 because I have created one slicer view so that for 2014 how I am able to uh, represent this data if I am going to select uh, going back to furniture and if you click on this 2015 you can find out this information here okay now let me go back to 2014 and I will show you the top segment area Top segment and key influencer, this both uh, this uh, tab, there are some difference. Key influencer uh, tab is using for one variable at a time. Here target variable is our category information. And here one variable at a time, it is showing us the result that, uh, which is influencing this category information. Whereas if you go to top segment area, it will show you the multiple factors which are affecting this sales category information. Okay, category information is our target variable. Here is multiple uh, variables are combination of uh, multiple variable. It is influencing the data and based on that this information has been ranked in different segment. You can observe that we found this two segment and rank by them percentage of categories furniture and population size population size is nothing but the data count okay now you can observe if i click on this here you can observe this this circle is very small and this circle is big, big because it has 550 record and it has 159 record so 159 uh, out of this 159 record, 62.9% informations are influenced by this category furniture. And whereas uh, this area has 28.2% where uh, this, uh, percentage data is more influenced by this furniture information. If I click on this circle, it will go in detail about this segment 1. And this 21.1% overall this information means like the complete set of data has been influenced by this furniture category and uh, 
only 21.1 percent let me go to another report where i will show you how anal analysis analyzed by this continuous data and explained by this categorical data okay so here i have selected sales value and this subcategory information in this uh, data set i have seven, uh, 17 subcategory information however in this graph you can observe only seven subcategory information is available why because these seven subcategories are influencing this sales data in decreasing way this is the i have selected decreasing that means it it is affecting the sales data set to decrease their sales okay now if i am going to select increase you can observe the four sub category information which are really helping to increase the sales data so this way you can also explain your data set another is if i go to this top segment area i can find out this high value and this low value okay so based on this high value data set has been categorized in this three segments okay and top segment as you know it's considering the multiple uh, factors however i have only one explained by factor but you can add more data more in a uh, information here and if i am going to select low uh, then segment is categorized in four areas okay also the similar way you can select uh, one segment and you can find out all the overall details information till now i have explained this analyze by section and explain by but what about this expand by section what does it mean by this let me show you one thing if i here i have selected total sales but instead of this just first remove this order id if i am going to remove this order id and you can observe nothing is coming okay now if i am going to select this total sales and instead of that i am going to select sales here you can observe the same uh, report is coming now i am going to add order id in this expand by section and there is no data nothing is coming because whenever i am adding any field in this expand by section it is setting up the granularity so this granularity information can be break down can break down only the aggregated information it can analyze only the aggregated information however my cell, this sales function is by default it's taking the aggregation but it's not considering as a aggregated function for that reason i have created this total sales value what is this total sales this total sales is nothing but the sum of this sales information so whenever i have added this sales information if i am delete this order id you can observe no influence are found because it has this aggregated information this measure is as aggregated information and it is not able to uh exp explain this information in a detail level so to save that granularity i need to add some order id or something row id which has a detail granular level data so it will expand the information in the in the same way okay so here also you can observe the increase and decrease information and also in the top segment area you have a high information and low information so in the same way you can uh, explain this uh, graphical representation to your customer okay for because here i have only total sales value it it could have a different measure information okay so uh, you can add those measure information and you can expand in a uh, detail granular level let me show, show you the one uh, important format section for this uh, key influencer graph if you go to this format section it will have this analyze section and we have this key enable key influencer enable segments is there analysis type is continuous here i have selected continuous uh, data in our analyze section that's why it is showing continuous now if you enable this count data and you can observe 
have sorted by this count. So data is displayed based on this count area. Okay. Here you can observe this data is displayed in the count uh, sorted by the count. Now if I click on this impact, so data will be displayed based on this impact. Impact means influence. Now again let me go to the increase section and I'm click on this count so you can observe the difference. So this way also here we have uh, count type, uh, absolute data or relative data. So data uh, it will be displayed based on your selection. Another uh, option is like it has this analyze visual color. Okay. It the data will be you can change the visual color in this way. Also, drill visual colors. So these are all the drill visual colors. These are these are the separate reference line number color. So this way, this is some special formatting section for this key influencer visual. So I hope you learn about this uh, key influencer visuals. In a, you got some idea about this. Now you need to learn more on this visual because there are so many features and uh, you need to analyze the graph. You need to experiment with this graph and uh, just uh, uh, try to understand and use some different um, variables or measures to keep on try to understand how the data is uh, reflecting. Okay. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. Please comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.